What is going on guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20, a, tra a trader's road to glory, sorry. Um, this is episode 2 and in today's episode what we're going to be doing is getting our squad battles rewards. But more importantly we actually managed to pull uh, a really good card. Um, it is an untradeable card and we do get it from the season objective. Uh, but as you can see on the screen now I'm just um, sorting out the season objectives. I do unlock the lone hazard which will be quite useful for the uh, squad battles games etc that I'm going to be playing. Now I do go ahead and complete the full transfer market one which gives you a few hundred coins. Uh, if you haven't done this yourself already I'd suggest doing so. Uh, it just helps boost that budget that you have got. Uh, I just want to start off by saying a massive thank you to everybody for the support in the first video. You'll see now that four items have sold and it's the rest of the items that I got from my returning packs. Um, if you didn't see that look back to the first episode. Um, so what I'll show now is it's squad battles. Uh, I managed to... I actually lost two games on uh, squad battles. I won the first one 5-2 and then lost 2-1 to... Um, it was only on world class as well. It was quite embarrassing. Um, I mean, you did see my team. It wasn't the best, but I really shouldn't have lost. As it stands, I was actually in silver 1. So I'm in silver 1. I've got 7k points. So uh, I think it was 7k points. But anyway, we have a premium gold pack here. And it's going to open up and we'll see who I get. So you can tell that it is a board because of how much it slows down. We do get a Brazilian. We then get centre mid. And I was thinking, who's Brazilian centre mid? Napoli. And it is Allen. It is 85 rated Allen. And as I show in a minute, he is actually worth around 50k. Uh, obviously, he's untradeable. However, having a player like Allen in the club, it kind of spurs me on. And I kind of do want to make a team around him. Uh, he's got very decent stats, as you see. You can pause it if you need to. But his stats are unbelievable. He's a very decent card. He works perfectly on this game, and like I said, you can see that he's worth around the 50k mark, a bit more than that anyway. So, obviously the only thing I can do really is storm in the club, I'm not going to discard him. And then we look into sniping. So I did actually find um, UCL cards, I actually found a deal with them. Victor Wanyama there, UCL rare, 5.4k I'm going to pick him up for. Um, and then I'm just going to list him for 7 because I did initially search 7k max uh, and two cards popped up. One for 7k which is Willy Caballero and then that Victor Wanyama for 5.4. So he sold pretty much straight away for 7k. It didn't take too long at all for him to sell. Um, so it's a very decent profit on that card. Uh, well over a thousand coins profit and then we've only got four more items left. As you can see them four items were in my team but I, I am selling them because I'm going to make a better team for future squad battles games. So we've got, uh, we're looking at Gelson Martins again, or Gelson Martins, uh, we're looking at his price, you saw me trade with him a little bit in the last episode, I'm just going to check his price again, and I see another right wing Gelson Martins up for 3k, um, exactly the same scenario as the last episode, he's been position changed to a right wing, he's going to be worth a little bit more, so I do check his price, and his price seems to be around the 4k mark, so... Because man's got an attribute card on and there's only a few cards, I do actually go ahead and stick them up for 4,000 coins. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for the recent support. It's been like overwhelming. Um, the next player I try to trade with is Cassias. Uh, pick him up for 1.80 he sells for, so I'm going to try and pick him up for a little bit more than that. Um, I, would, I think overall, when a card has only got around a few of like maybe about two pages worth of them up for like a certain price and that's their minimum price I'd class that as their minimum and I'd sell them at that price because the chance of your card selling uh, through a few pages is very high if there was like 10 play, uh, pages of maybe a Cassias on 1.9k I'd sell it for 1.8 whereas if there was two pages of Cassias for 1.9k I'd sell mine for 1.9 you just gotta be a little bit patient sometimes you see Gelson Martins did sell for 4k and then we actually have a look at some silver cards so this method I've actually learnt from a fellow uh, Twitter trader uh, called Marks FC, but basically all you do is look for silver cards that are um, on open bid and then you go ahead and bid throughout uh, and try and win some of the cards. And all you do after this, so you can see me doing it for a little while, I think I did it for about a minute, um, just bidding on open cards. You, you want to really look for um, popular nations and leagues. Um, that way you're kind of guaranteed to make some sort of coins if there's already an open bid on that card. Uh, so I did actually go ahead and bid on 8 cards. As you can see I already won 5 of them. So I do go up and check the prices and list them up. So I picked up this card for 350. I stick it up for 950. We got Rios here. 300. I'm going to stick them up for 450. We also get Ghana. I think I picked him up for 350, sell him on for 450. Abergel, uh, we picked him up for 300, gonna sell him on for 400. So it's not massive profits. And then Yuri 
we did actually go ahead and sell him for 150 coins before tax profit so just quickly while this is going on in the background I just want to touch over this method again so all you're going to do is search silver you're going to go to your max bid price and put that to around 400 coins and then you are just going to have a look for cards that already have a bid on um, but cards that don't have like a buy now of maybe like 500 on the same card and then you're going to go ahead and mass bid now you see here I do actually pick up some Nasir Chadleys for 700 coins um, he was needed for an SBC I think it's the prime uh, players pack one on the hybrid nations so his price is being boosted up a little bit as he is in that um, SBC solution. So I did pick him up for 700 to 750 each and then I managed to sell one straight away for 1.1. A couple of silvers sold as well. And then, um, yeah, if you just see here, we're going through the club. Um, I have another Nasir Chadley and I have another player from the same combination of the SBC that I'm going to sell um, and get my money back for because I decided against it. Now, initially, I was actually going to complete that SBC myself. Um... But I decided against it at this point in time and wanted to go for an easier uh, solution. So now what we do is, as I was saying that, we do go to the Hybrid Nations. We do go to Elite 8. So it's Elite 8 SBC. Now, I did this for a really cheap price. I think it was around the 7 to 8k mark. So I spent seven or 8,000 coins uh, to get a 45,000 coin pack, which is um, 12 gold cards. And six of them are rare. So it's a very decent pack and to pay 7,000 coins for it is a very decent deed. Uh, if you wanted to pause this near the end when I've done the squad, uh, it might be useful. You might be able to do it yourself for a cheap price. So you can see I put Hernad, uh, Hitado and Quinones in there. Mess it around a little bit. Uh, just jig it around. Realise that's not in the right place. And then I go ahead and complete the SBC. So as you see, Elite 8 Prime Gold Players Pack. Now, I was really praying that we get something in this because this is a tradable reward. So, we'll see what we get. It's um, So, it's obviously, it's a rare. If it does slow down a tiny bit, so I thought we were going to get really lucky with it. And then it comes up French, comes up goalkeeper. I was thinking the Reese, but it was actually Stephen Ruffier. So, he doesn't sell for an awful lot. I think I do make my coins back from this pack. However, like I said, it's not ideal. Uh, I could have uh, hoped for a lot better than that. We do get Gaia, who's worth a few thousand coins. And we get Danny, uh, Danny Ceballos. We do get some decent players who will definitely sell, uh, including Jonathan Soriano, who's needing SBCs, etc. But yeah, we do go ahead and list all of these cards. Um, we pretty much put them on an open bid. Uh, this was just before the squad battles rewards were dropped, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we list everything up and then we go ahead and check the trade pile chadley sold and the belgian strikers sold another two chadley sell uh, and then i do actually mass bid on a lot of Serie A players for around 650 to 700 at the discard price and i go ahead and make a brand new team basically for squad battles i did find it difficult using half a bronze team and half a gold team for squad battles which is why i got the couple of losses that i have on my record so basically what I did was I went and just spent um, as minimum uh, minimal coins as possible. Uh, I was currently sitting in silver one. Play on legendary with this team. Uh, and basically just hope to pick up the win. It's a lot easier when you've got a full gold team. Especially against a team like this where they have a couple of fast players. As you see, I skipped the game and I do actually win 3-0. Um, not a bad result at all. Uh, I think we get around 2,000 something points for this. Because it is on legendary like I said. 2.2k. And we do actually achieve gold free. Now that's going to be really good for the squad battles rewards, which I bear in mind I did this um, about an hour before the rewards were expected. So as you see, we go back to season objectives. We've actually done the debut mark. We do get the one to watch kit. Um, I'm not going to go for this in Dombele one to watch. I don't think it's uh, something I'm going for in this. Uh, like I said, I want it to be kind of trading heavy, but we do actually now have... Our squad battles rewards. Our players did sell. Jonathan Soriano sold for 3.2k, which I was really surprised with. So that's a lot of nice profit. We're currently sitting on a 24,000 coin balance. And then we do um, pick up our squad battles rewards. So as you're going to see here, I'm going to open the rewards. We do check squad battles. And as you can see on the screen right now, that is actually my main account. I was in the top 100 for a little bit. I was 18th. So that was pretty cool. I just thought I'd show that on the road to glory. So obviously with the coin boost, we are on 34,000 coins now because we get 10k from the squad battles rewards. And in the first pack, it doesn't slow down. We don't get anything too special. 
but we do actually get a decent player in Callum Wilson. Now, I say he's decent because, one, he's obviously Pierce, he's a good player to use. However, two, he is one of the nominees and looking most likely to win player of the month in the Premier League for this upcoming month. And he is worth around 6 to 7k, so very decent when you're starting off uh, to get like a 7k to like a 7 to 10k player. And of course, everything else is just an added bonus as I can stick them up for um, their prices. So yeah, when you're starting off a road to glory, initially you just want to build up as many coins as you can while also making somewhat of a team so you can actually take part in things like squad battles and division rivals, uh, if you were good enough for division rivals that is. Um, not only that, but every silver player as well seemed to be worth something. Some of the golds are even stuck, uh, bronzes, sorry, because they did seem to be worth something. So yeah, like I said, the initial goal is to get as many coins as possible, and then I'll start investing um, into bigger and better players, hopefully making more coins. I know my main account have actually been icon flipping recently, and I've made quite a lot of coins on that. But we do open the second pack, and in this uh, last and final pack, and this is going to be the last clip of the episode, we do actually only get Lugin Dharma from Galatasaray and uh, Dia Congo is his nation. We do get a couple of players in there that could be useful, like Ross Barkley. Uh, you see me stick up a position modifier, but that is literally going to be it for today's episode. It's a bit long, it's 12 minutes long. Let me know if you want them shorter, let me know if you want them longer. I really don't mind. But if you have enjoyed this, um, please smash a like. Um, just uh, if you subscribe as well and turn on notifications, that would be absolutely massively appreciated. As obviously, I'm trying to grow my channel and I want a lot of people to enjoy this Road to Glory. Anyway, with that being said, if you have enjoyed this, please smash a like, and I'll see you all in the next Road to Glory episode.